Hello, welcome and thank you for joining us today for the next webinar in our What's New series. In today's webinar, we'll cover some of the newest features in Microsoft 365 that you can implement in your business, as well as covering some brand new features that give us a bit of an insight into the future and some new things that, that are coming out next year. Don't feel like you need to make notes or take it all in straight away as we'll be sending out a recording of the webinar and a follow up fact sheet uh, later this week. Also, if you have any questions, please do feel free to drop those into the Q&A box at the side at any time. There will be dedicated time for questions at the end of the webinar, but if something occurs to you as we're going along, please do just drop it in that Q&A box and I'll do my best to answer those as we go through the webinar. So let's take a look at the agenda that we'll be looking at today. We'll be starting off with an explanation of what Microsoft Ignite is and where these updates are coming from. Then we'll be looking at Microsoft Teams Premium with advanced meeting protection options, intelligent recap for Teams meetings, and then something new, which is how you can optimize hybrid working with Microsoft Places. Then we'll be looking at new channel and chat updates in Teams. And lastly, we'll be going over the Bedrock Security Review Workshop and then a look at what's next and the next webinar in this series so you can sign up. It's good to see so many people back again that have been with us before in this webinar series. Um, I just wanted to do a quick introduction for those of you who might not have attended one of these What's New webinars before or who might not know who Bedrock are. So welcome to you all. My name is Jennifer Bend and I'm the marketing manager at Bedrock. Bedrock is an IT managed service provider and Microsoft Gold Partner, which is changing, will be soon changing to a different kind of um, partnership status. This means that most of the IT that we implement is based on the Microsoft stack. This includes Microsoft 365, Teams, Azure, etc. We're also experts in secure, resilient networks and managed IT solutions where high performance is critical. So we work with some organisations that have some of the highest security requirements in the UK. The most important thing we want to achieve, no matter what your organisation does, is to help you get the most out of the apps that you're already investing in and therefore grow your business in a better and more efficient way. We do this with the help of our eight rocks that you can see on the screen here now. These eight rocks are skills, data, investment, backup, strategy, security, quality of service and finally collaboration. Collaboration is the focus of today's webinar. Most people have Teams and other tools within Microsoft 365, but they aren't using them to their full capacity. And therefore they're pot potentially wasting some of that investment that they're paying into their IT budgets and not getting the full value out of what these tools can do. So that's what this webinar series is for. We're making sure that you're staying up to date with all the tools that you're already paying for and ensuring that you can get the best value out of them. So without further ado, let's move on to the first item on our agenda. Last month was the Microsoft Ignite conference. Microsoft Ignite is an annual conference for developers and IT professionals, which is hosted by Microsoft. There were plenty of announcements at Ignite about new developments that are coming to Azure, including lots of developer centric information. There are also updates coming to Intune and Power Platform. But what we want to focus on today is the announcements that could affect uh, the, your day to day work and that you can implement even if you're not an IT developer within your organisation. So we're going to be looking at things that you can click on settings, implement fairly easily and quickly and start using straight away. We're also going to be looking at a few of the announcements that were made at Ignite that aren't yet available, but are coming up within the next year or so. The first item that was unveiled at Microsoft Ignite was a premium version of Microsoft Teams. The premium version will allow users um, to have advanced security features in their meetings, as well as options for larger meetings, including live translation for captions. 
This version of Teams will also use AI to trigger recaps and to-do lists and to allow customised branding for backgrounds and landing pages. The public preview of this Microsoft Teams Premium is due to be out in December, but we'll cover some of the features that were announced now in the following slides. Um, I've just had a question come in, come in saying, is this still on? I assume you mean, is Microsoft Ignite still on? The live conference is now finished, but you can catch up with some of the speeches that were made at Microsoft Ignite if you just do a quick search for Microsoft Ignite and you'll be able to find the web page with some of the recorded videos on there as well. Um, the all new meeting guides in Teams Premium help you to automatically create the experience that's right for your meeting. So you can see on the screen here, there's an option as you click the drop down to create a new meeting. At the bottom, there'll be a button saying meeting guides and you can set up as many options as you like for those meeting guides. The guide is easily customised and managed by IT. You can select a meeting guide like, for example, here, the client call or the brainstorm meeting. And the options will already be set, reducing the time and thought process needed for getting that meeting right. This will also help to ensure that team members adhere to company policies that you might have around best practices and any compliance that you need to meet for certain types of meetings within your organisation. So as part of Microsoft Teams Premium, this will be one of the new features coming out, meeting guides to quickly allow you to set up these meetings um, in adherence to the, any uh, rules that you might have. The next update, which is due to be released as part of Teams Premium, is customised meeting branding. This means that you'll be able to brand your meeting lobby and create custom backgrounds and together modes for employees to use and IT to manage centrally. So this is quite a small little feature that's just um, a new update coming with this Microsoft Teams Premium platform, is that as you can see on the image here, you will be able to brand your own background so that all meetings will have your, your company branding in the background and people, you know, it, it just has that coherent look across the entire platform. Next up, I think this is the one that will be most hyped around the Microsoft Teams Premium update. Um, this is intelligent recap for Teams meetings. So at the moment, I don't know about you, I'm sure you're in the same boat as me. We have so many meetings and only limited hours in a day. With so many competing priorities, it's important that you can spend less time going through transcripts or trying to catch up on meetings where potentially you had a clash and you weren't able to attend two meetings at the same time. Um, and you'll also be able to, you also need to be able to refer to previous discussions just to quickly get up to speed before you head into your next meeting. With Intelligent Recap, you will see personalised insights and highlights from meetings that help you discover the information that matters to you most. So with Intelligent Recap in Teams Premium, you get the power of AI to make the meetings you attend, or the ones that you've missed, <laughs> um, more productive and impactful. So what it does is it uses AI to recap what's been said in the meeting and to suggest action items and owners so that follow-ups aren't missed. So rather than sitting in a meeting, trying to scribble down what your action was from that meeting um, and potentially missing what's being said next, um, everything's captured for you and it even uses AI to assign the name of the person that it thinks should be performing that action as a follow-up. It's almost like having a virtual assistant in each meeting. They're attending with you and they're giving you those follow-up notes. As you can see on the screen as well, um, after the meeting, the Intelligent Recap will create smarter recordings as well. Um, it creates automatically generated chapters and insights, such as when your name was mentioned, when a screen was shared, or when you left a meeting early to help you to, dis to discover um, the important moments where you need to catch up. So rather than having to sit through an entire perhaps one or two hour meeting, you can quickly sift through the moments that are most important to you and catch up with those um, and quickly perform the actions that were assigned to you by that AI. So again, this is part of Microsoft Teams Premium coming by the end of the year. The next um, new feature that we'll be looking at as part of this Teams Premium is 
about meeting setup options and how you can protect those meetings with advanced security options. The reality is some of the meetings that we might be attending contain business sensitive information that is screen shared or covered in the conversation. These meetings might include uh, board meetings, financial discussions and undisclosed product launches that you might not want your competitors to get a hold of. These meetings now will have the option to have advanced security measures to ensure that the content remains protected. With advanced meeting protection in Teams Premium, you can safeguard the confidential meetings that you might be having. These features include stuff like watermarking, which might deter, <coughs> excuse me, might deter people from trying to screenshot your meeting. It won't completely stop them from doing it. They will still be able to screenshot the meeting, but they would then obviously won't be able to share it quite so easily. Um, and it will also allow you to add additional protections to keep the discussion private. For Microsoft 365 E5 users um, and customers, you'll be used to using security protection measures on your documents, such as being able to mark a file as confidential. Um, with these sensitivity labels that come as part of that E5 package. So this will be carried over into this more uh, advanced meeting protection options. So you'll be able to select one of your familiar sensitivity labels that you're already using to protect your documents across Microsoft 365 and automate it so that that sensitivity also applies to these meetings where you're discussing that sensitive information. So this is all just layering up extra security that helps you to protect any confidential information that you might be covering in these meetings. Um, someone says, great, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like the sound of this one. I know that it will be of interest to a lot of our customers in particular at Bedrock. Um, obviously, there are it, there's so much varied information that you just might want to protect and might not want other people finding out about. So. These are features that I think will be really beneficial across multiple organisations. So like any new product that's still under the development, the exact features um, that will be delivered when Microsoft Teams Premium becomes generally available might change. So we've covered some of the new features that, that we have already been announced, but there might be more. Some of those might be delayed. You know what Microsoft are like with delays. We've had a few of those this year. It's also probable that Microsoft will seek to differentiate the premium offering from the existing Teams offering, so they might be adding even more new features as we go along. Um, but we should be able to find out more about this towards the end of 2022 and into the first half of 2023. Um, at the end of 2022, we will start to be able to use these features in preview and also our customers will be able to start to use these features in, pre in preview as well just to give you the opportunity to test the functionality and decide if you need to invest in um, the premium licenses for Teams. So the, the features that we've covered, including intelligent recap, live translations for captions, meeting guides, custom branding and advanced meeting security are just some of the new features we're expecting in Teams Premium and that will be due in December, but we'll be keeping an eye on any new features that are added or, or um, delayed in that release just to keep you updated as well. Someone asks, will the advanced security features only be available to E5 customers? I believe so at this stage. As I say, we don't have the live preview available to us at the moment, but that's what we've been led to believe at the moment, that if you already are an existing E5 customer, those security features will be carried over to this premium version of Teams. But like I say, we'll keep an eye on that and let you know if anything changes. Um, Microsoft Teams Premium will be an additional cost on top of your Microsoft 365 licensing. So again, we'll let you know as soon as we have further detail about what that might be. Next up, we're moving away from that Microsoft Teams Premium to another completely brand new Microsoft platform. Just when you think you've got your head around everything, they bring out another one just to keep you on your toes. Um, so this platform is called Microsoft Places and it delivers solutions that coordinate where work happens, it modernizes the office with intelligent technology, and it optimizes the workspace for the changing needs that we're all facing at the moment through hybrid working. Microsoft Places um, uses hybrid scheduling to leverage common data signals from Outlook and Teams 
to allow you to view the week ahead and decide when you might be traveling to the office or when it might be worth you traveling to the office depending on when your co-workers and co close collaborators are planning to be there as well. So no one wants to make the effort to travel into the office to find that they're the only one there that day. So this will allow you to plan ahead and make sure that you're going in on the best day to make most efficient use of your time and to be able to collaborate with the people you need to catch up with. So you'll understand the days with the most in-office attendance and that will allow you to adjust your schedule and take advantage of valuable in-person connections. With Microsoft Places, we'll also use technology to improve the in-office experience, especially in places that weren't built for hybrid work. I think we're still facing at the moment the fact that there are some people working in organisations that haven't even sort of been into the office that much. Perhaps they were um, recruited during COVID and they haven't actually had much opportunity to go and meet people face to face. So something else that this new technology will do is help you to find your way around the building once you've actually got there. You'll no longer spend time looking for the right conference room or following outdated building signs and instead you'll be able to follow a map on your mobile that guides you to the right place, the right meeting room, the right workstation, whatever that might be. It will also have a hot desk booking feature that will allow you to see where your closest colleagues are sitting and choose your desk accordingly. So if you want to sit with your specific team, it will show you where they're sitting on that day and you'll be able to book a desk to sit with them. Microsoft Places will be integrated with the Microsoft 365 solutions that customers use every day. So that includes Outlook and Teams and Microsoft Viva as well. Um, and we're expecting this in the first half of 2023. So look out for that coming soon. Of course, we will keep you updated as well and let you know as soon as it's publicly available. Next up, we will be looking at new um, channel and chat updates coming to Teams. So now we're segueing back towards the existing version of Teams that we're all using right now. Um, this will not be the Teams premium version. This is still just updates that are coming to the normal Teams package. So I think what I've noticed from the Teams Premium announcements that we've seen so far is that there will be additional features that Microsoft are definitely going to be pushing to try and get that premium license um, addition. But by no means is it something that you absolutely have to have within your organisation if you don't think those benefits, those, those new features will benefit you. Um, Microsoft will still be updating and bringing new features into the existing version of Teams as well that automatically comes as part of your Microsoft 365 licensing. So there's no need to worry and think, oh, it's just, I'm just gonna have to keep up selling and keep keep uh, adding to my budget to keep up these with these updates. If those new features aren't going to benefit you, your version of Teams will still be updated as well. So this update is the fact that new, lay new layouts are coming to Microsoft Teams channel by the end of this year. So the new layout has recent posts at the top, so users can easily catch up on the latest conversations, contribute to discussions and pop out posts to return to them more quickly. You'll be able to choose from a range of new post types, pin important posts for quick reference and find key information about the channel in the info panel. This will include channel members, shared files, and other information that you might find useful and it needs to be easily accessible from the Teams channel. The channel header can also be customised with the organisation's brand or you can add a different image for each team as well. Something that's coming new as a new chat feature is the ability to add new participants to the chat with an at mention, removing the need to manually navigate to the add dialogue. So if you're in the flow of a conversation and you realise that someone else from the organisation might benefit from hearing this chat or you need someone else's input, you'll be able to quickly add them into that chat just by using the app mention instead of clicking away and having to add them to the chat manually. As you can already do with the manual chat add, um, when you add a new, new participant, you can control how much of the chat history you want to share. So you can decide whether you want them to be able to scroll back and read the entire 
chat or just join as they are with a fresh page and um, just go from there. This will be generally available by the end of the year. The next chat update that we've got within Teams is the ability to grab the attention of everybody in the chat by, by using at everyone. Uh, everyone in the chat will receive a notification, which removes the hassle of mentioning each person's name one by one or, or the potential of missing someone. This ensures that the notification has been sent to the full chat audience. So if you've got lots of chats going on within Teams at the same time, you won't always pay attention to new messages coming in unless you actually get a notification for it. Um, at the moment within Bedrock, what we do is we at, yeah, use at and the team name which then automatically gives everyone a notification in that chat. But this is just a new feature that you'll be able to use across any chat that you're using um, and you'll be able to tag at everyone and everyone within that chat or within that team channel will get a notification just to let them know that a new message has come in. This will be in preview by the end of the year, so I would imagine it should be publicly available very early next year. So we'll keep you up to date with that. Our final chat update that we have coming to Teams is um, the ability to delay a send of a message. So this is similar to delaying the delivery of emails in Outlook. You can now manually select the future date and time when you would like a chat message to be delivered. Simply right click the send button and set, uh, you can choose the option there to schedule send. Additionally, if you're sending a message outside of work hours of the recipient, you will automatically get schedule send suggestions from Viva Insights. With just one click, users can send a chat message in confidence, knowing that the message can be delivered at the start of the recipient's work hours. So rather than pinging people and potentially annoying them when they're trying to enjoy a nice quiet evening, you can write the message while it's at the front of your mind and schedule it to send as soon as that recipient is due to start work the next day. Schedule send will be available in November, so any time now. And schedule send suggestions using that, that suggested work time from uh, Microsoft Viva Insights will be available by the end of the year. So it's just a slight delay on that suggested uh, time, but the schedule send should be coming any time now. So that's all the new features that we um, had to cover today. Um, there's quite a lot in there, um, just we've quickly run through. So if anyone has, it, has any further questions, please do feel free to drop those into the box um, now and we'll cover those in a moment. Um, I will just introduce you to Bedrock's new security review workshop, um, which is a one day interactive workshop where you will work with one of the Bedrock technical team to analyse the features you, that you already have in place and find any potential gaps or holes where attackers could still find a way into your IT environment. So during the course of this workshop and the documents that you will receive after it, you will discover where you could be duplicating investment in cybersecurity tools that are doing the same job. You will check that you are meeting the requirements for your cybersecurity policy. Um, many policies won't pay out unless you're doing your part and fulfilling your your um, your cyber security uh, needs. And you can also find out where the cracks are in your technology and um, hopefully cover those up, leaving you much safer and less open to attack. We have a limited number of spaces opening up for this workshop each month. So um, please do send me a message and I can send you some more information if this is something that you think might interest you. So we've got a little bit of time for Q&A now, if anyone's got any other questions coming in. Um, I can see uh, someone's asked, are there any updates on OneNote? There's nothing that jumped out to me this month, <laughs> um, but I will have a quick look around. Um, and uh, let you know if, if I find anything or, or put it into the December update if, um, if there are any major new updates coming to OneNote. Um, and someone else asks, um, will I be able to, will be, will be uh, sorry, tongue tied. Will we be able to access the avatar feature in Teams that's been advertised recently? Yes, so this is a feature that was again announced at Microsoft Ignite. It's something Microsoft have been talking about for a few years. 
Um, it's the Microsoft Mesh feature, which allows you to create an avatar of you that isn't actually you. Um, so we discussed this, I think, when it was very, very new. Um, it may have been right back at the beginning of the year um, where we had a look at some of the avatars that Microsoft are bringing out. Um, I will try and find that recording for you and, um, and share that with you for a bit more information about those, those mesh type avatars. But yes, essentially the update is that those avatars are coming. If it's something that appeals to you that you would want to work use in your everyday work, then absolutely um, I can send more information about that. Um, thank you, Ben, for, for saying thank you and I'll see you next month as well. Um, good to see so many people coming back to join us again. Um, as always, if a question occurs to you later today that you perhaps didn't want to ask in this live chat, please do feel free to email me and I'll do my best to either answer myself or get one of the bedrock technical experts to get back to you if it's a more technical answer that you require. All that's left for me to say is um, if you would like to join us again in December, um, Cara is going to drop the link into the chat right now, which she's done. Um, so you can use that link to sign up for the December webinar straight away. That will be taking place on the 8th of December and uh, look forward to seeing so many of you back again then. So thanks a lot, everyone, and I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.